products. It started as a tripod company, and they started mounting all of the pan and tilts and their radar dishes on top of television bands. And Moog Quickset owns about 95% of that market. We also have a lot of work for NASA, so if you've seen any kind of video being taken from a launch of the space shuttle or whatever, all of those cameras, the images that you're seeing, are being mounted on Quickset pan and tilts. Then 9-11 happened and our business just grew, and now we do sensors, security, and surveillance. And to keep up with that growth, we needed a tool that was just moving into the next evolution of going even further from the 2D world into the three-dimensional parametric modeling. And that's where SolidWorks came in. You can take a like product, make a copy of that assembly, and make a slight change of it that we can get to, to, to market in a very short period of time. Because we do a lot of work in the military, we do FEA, whether it be shock and vibration or just standard static load. And of course, all of our files and what have you are going through the enterprise system, so we do all of our check-in and check-out. So that's greatly increased our documentation from a quality control standpoint. One of our big programs is a driver's vision enhancement, and basically that takes a pan and tilt and a camera mounted on top of these vehicles. And these vehicles are, have the ability of driving at night with no lights whatsoever. And that was to overcome some of the things that were happening in Afghanistan and Iraq. And there's often when we we'll actually receive product back from the military, products that have bullet holes in them, which is the big thing because of the, the mere fact that we are saving lives. E-drawings have, have been a big part of what we do from communications with our vendors and being able to send a part file or a full-blown assembly so they can look at it and spin it around and animate it, remove a couple things so they can get inside of the product and actually see how all of these things interact. I don't believe Moog Quickset would have been as successful as it is uh, without SolidWorks. There are just things that you would not be able to do without it and it's been a huge uh, part of our business.